Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at this Lanzo Acrylic Raspberry Pi 3 case with fan. So taking her out, this is the way she comes packaged, nothing fancy. We get some acrylic pieces here, and each piece does have like a protective sticker coating on each side. So a little pain in the butt, but you're going to have to peel all those off. I guess you don't have to, but if you don't peel them off, you're going to have these stickers on there and acrylic's not going to be see-through. So, let's go ahead and peel these guys off. And I don't know if the stickers would melt. I know the pie doesn't get too crazy hot, but let's peel them off anyway. Screw it. Peeling away, peeling away. Not too difficult, you just gotta kinda scratch at it and then you'll get a little bit of a piece you could peel. Not a problem, not a problem. So now that that's done, got all these little screws and nuts. Got our Pi 3 ready to go, our little fan down there. So the first piece, according to their directions, we wanna line her up on the bottom. And it does say to put these screws in here. Well, if you put these screws in there, it just doesn't sit properly from my experience. It's kind of hard to get them perfect because there's not much leeway. With the uh, soldering underneath the pie, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna leverage correctly until after you put the side pieces on. So we'll go ahead and put the side pieces on. Won't even bother with those screws. In their advertisement and their directions, it says it comes with acrylic screws for the bottom piece, but mine did not come with acrylic screws. It came with metal screws, so I'm not using those. They will not... It doesn't hold the pie in there properly from me screwing around with it. So now, we got the side pieces on. The front and back pieces, the bottom on the sides has like a little squeeze spot where you squeeze them to fit it in. You just kind of uh, squeeze it, and they pop right in place. Not too shabby. Back piece, line her up. You know, it kind of seems a little a little crazy when you first open this up, but it's it's not too bad. You know, once you got it press fit in there, she doesn't really move. Now to get the top piece in can be kind of a little bit of a pain but it is like a hinge top. So you have to line that up, pop it into the little hole. I guess you could have done this, you know, in a different step, but you do kind of have to re-squeeze off the bottom to get a little leeway, get her back in there, and close her up, and then you're good. Now you have this hinged lid where we're gonna install our fan. So now, screwing the fan in so she's pulling out hot air off of the CPU. Put these screws in there. It does come with a long screw and a nut for each corner of the fan. The smaller screws are the ones that were meant to put the board to the bottom piece. But like I said, I didn't use that. When I tried putting it on, it just it wouldn't sit right. So I just bypassed that. So now that we got our fan in there, I'm going to plug her in. Get her ready to go. See what to do. Gotta kind of move your 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 cable a little bit too. Tighten up the screws. Just a little bit. You don't want to crack the acrylic. It's acrylic, you know, especially this this acrylic's pretty thin. It's not super thin, but it will crack easily if you over torque the screws. We just want to make sure it's, it's a little little hand tightened slightly just so the fan doesn't rattle in there. And kind of move the, uh, the, the fan cable out of the way a little bit so she'll close. And then we are good to go. She's ready. She, she is ready. Like I said, press fit in. Doesn't fall out. You don't really need those screws in the bottom. Kind of false advertising, didn't come with acrylic screws, but that's all right. You do have the openings for the GPIO. You have the bottom, the GPU. 
everything's accessible. Memory card slot's accessible. So let's see, how does this guy stack up to the rest of them? How does this case stack up to the rest of the family of pie cases? Well, let's stack them up and find out. Ultimate test time. How does she perform? How does that fan work? Can we easily get a micro SD card in and out? Let's check her out. Let's do this. Okay, so we got this little fella assembled. Everything ready to go. Now, to test her out, you know. Not a whole lot we can do with her. Just wanna make sure that we can plug everything in. Everything functions, the fan functions properly. And the ultimate test is definitely if we can get a micro SD card in and out of this bad boy with no problem. So, with that said, let's go ahead and start her up. See what we can do. Um, first and foremost, let's let's do the, the the SD card. Let's see if we can pull that guy out. So there we go. Pulled it out fairly easily. Like I said, I did not mount my board to the bottom of this case like they said because it just wouldn't work properly for me. Um, but with it sitting in there, it doesn't fall out, doesn't really move much. So it's still good, but you know, there's a little tiny bit of slack. So again, my grow SD card out and in. So it pretty much passes that test. The opening is pretty big. Um, the card does not protrude out at all, so you almost need to use your nails to kind of pull the lip of the card out, essentially. I don't have much in the way of nails, but I'm not having too much of an issue getting her out. So then the next thing, without having it mounted in there properly, or the way they intended it, but like I said, it fits. Um, let's see if we can get the USB ports plugged in without destroying anything, I, I guess you want to say. I also have a mouse that I want to plug in. Everything, everything plugs in just fine on that end without breaking the case or, you know, without pushing it open or anything like that. So that works. HDMI, same thing. Now, everything seems fine so far. Let's go ahead and plug in the power, see if the fan works. There she goes. The fan instantly turns on. She's looking good. So, pretty much my little basic tests all work out. Passes to all of them. Um, ultimately, the biggest deal with this case, it's cheap. It's a cheap acrylic case. It's only about three millimeters thick, not, not too bad. You know, it's thick enough, doesn't need to be any thicker than that. If you dropped it, you possibly would break something or it would come apart. The little, the little uh, parts of the case that have to clip in, they don't, it's not that they clip in, but you have, to, you have to squeeze them to clip them in there. I would imagine if you drop this, those might easily break. But really, nobody, you know, when you have a pie case set up and your pie's in there, you're not really moving it around much. So I don't think that's going to be a too big of an issue. I didn't have an issue putting it together. Everything was fine. So with that said, the biggest deal with this is that it's only a $6.99 case that comes with a fan. It's a very functional case. You have access to everything. You know, your ribbon cables that you would need to put in there for certain projects. Your GPIO, you have access. Underneath, you do have an opening for the the uh, GPU and the um, micro SD card, so you could easily put another heat sink here. All that's nicely designed. Um, for the price, you can't go wrong. As far as needing a fan, even for another case, buying this with the included fan is one of the cheapest options you will find on Amazon to get a fan quickly. Obviously you could buy these little fans from sellers in China and get them on the cheap. Could take a while to get to you, especially if you're in the States. So this is definitely a good option if you need a fan in a day or two, you have a project you're working on. Excellent option. That's why I bought it because I wanted the fan. Digging the case, not really my style. I don't really like the acrylic cases, but this is not bad. 
Would I buy it again? For sure I would buy it again. Mainly to get a fan, because if I want a fan in a day or two and I don't want to buy something from China or if I don't want to drive to Fry's Electronics, which is an, over an hour away from me, $6.99, I can get a fan. The cheapest fans I'm finding that are shipped through Amazon are about 10 bucks for this same exact fan. Screw that nonsense. This is where it's at. I'll give this case, even though it's not my style, but for functionality, price, having a fan, I give it an 8 out of 10 all day. So, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I appreciate it, guys. I got a lot more to come. Got some new images coming out that I'm working on, some more community driven things. I need to get with you guys, especially on streams, to get lists of games for certain things I want to do. Have a new version of the PlayStation image coming out pretty soon. Motion Blue, a lot of things, a lot of things going on. More devices, cases, just little off the wall things to look at. So keep an eye out, subscribe, smash that like button, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Boom.